All right, so I enjoyed doing the last video a lot, so much in fact that almost immediately after posting it, I got to work on the next one. And I thought, what better album to do than the next Samhain album, November Coming Fire. Um, I will do other albums besides Samhain, but this is my favorite album, so I thought I might as well get it over with. Um, so if you haven't seen the first video, this album has 11 songs. So we're going from one being most favorite to 11 being least favorite. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So first we have the intro to the album, which is called Diabolus 88. So if you haven't heard it, I will play a little bit of it now. didn't really care much for this song at first because it's an instrumental and I'm not the hugest fan of instrumentals just because I love deciphering lyrics and assigning my own meaning to songs. But when I got this record for my birthday it kind of forced me to listen to it more whenever I put it on and that made me like it a lot more even though it's an instrumental. There's a lot of different sounds going on which I'm not even entirely sure what all of them even are. There's this one sound that almost sounds like a dog barking or something. I don't know but it's cool. Again, like with Initium, this song and album have a great atmosphere. It's going at number 9. Alright, next is In My Grip. great song. I love the beginning where it starts out with kind of muted guitar part and then Glenn Danzig just yells. That kind of spooked me when I first heard it. I was not expecting that. Of course the song is awesome. It is so catchy. It is gonna be number four. Sweet Mother of Mercy. The next song is Mother of Mercy. <laughs> It could very well be the best Samhain song out of them all. I don't exactly know why it's so good, but it's just so catchy and upbeat. It doesn't quite have as much as the spooky eerie vibe as some of the other songs on November Coming Fire, but it makes up for that by being very anthemic and just cool sounding. I love the part in the middle where it goes quiet for a bit and then builds back up. I seriously can't really figure out what exactly makes it so good. I can only come up with what I like about it. And we all want our time in hell, right? It's easily number one. Okay, now for Birthright. I wasn't a huge fan of this one at first for whatever reason. Again, listening to the record made me come to like it a lot more. Though, I still think it's a little weaker than a lot of the songs on this album. However, this song definitely has an evil feel and I do love that. It's going at number 10. Alright, and the next song is To Walk the Night. kind of sounds like The Doors. It's awesome. Listening to it while walking at night also is just amazing. I think the transition from Birthright into this song is also pretty nice. It's a very beautiful sounding song, I think. I don't think there's any other Samhain song quite like it. It has such a sense of longing and desperation, but at the same time, it's not necessarily sad, but there is some despair to it. However, the chorus starts to give it some sense of hope in a way. It's such a cool song, honestly, with a lot of emotion, and the eerie atmosphere is unmatched here. Number two. Okay, now the next song is Let the Day Begin, so we'll let the song begin. Another 
masterpiece of songwriting in my opinion. I never get tired of it. It's also, again, super catchy of course too. If you ever need one of those songs that just pump you up, this is definitely one of them. It's another pretty energetic song, but it has a little bit of an uneasy feeling that I think makes it so great. Like the feeling that something's about to go down. I guess hence the name Let the Day Begin. This one's going at number three. The next song is Halloween 2. I guess kind of a remake of the Misfits Halloween 2 and in my opinion it is far better than the original. It's a lot darker and spookier than the original and I love the main riff too. Again there's such a spooky atmosphere it sounds very evil and I love that. I can't wait to play this song over and over once October comes around to really get in the Halloween spirit. It's gonna have to be number six. Well Halloween is over now so it's time for the next song November's Fire. love this song. The chorus is awesome and again really catchy. I don't really have much that comes to mind to explain it but this song just has a cool feel. I like playing this on bass too. I think it's actually more fun than playing it on guitar. It's gonna be number five. Okay the next song is Kiss of Steel. fast-paced song to just punch you right in the face. The song has a very rushing, desperate feel, like you're trying to hurry before it's too late. Too late for what? I don't know, but that's the kind of vibe I get from it. This one's going in the number seven spot. Now for the next song, it is Unbridled. song at all at first. Like, not even an ounce of likability. It's grown on me since, but it is pretty chaotic. It's got a cool atmosphere with all the different stuff going on. However, it does feel a little bit jumbled, so I don't like it quite as much as the other songs on this album. It's number 11. And lastly, we have Human Pony Girl. atmospheric, almost kind of haunting song. The drums sound like a horse galloping, which definitely had to have been intentional. I mean, I can't imagine how it wouldn't have been. It's pretty repetitive and has the same riff almost the entire song, but it doesn't get too boring for a song that's almost five minutes long. I think this is also a great song to end off the album. I don't know why I feel that way, but I just do. It's going in the number eight spot. So yeah, that was all the songs. Um, I think my ranking is pretty solid. I really enjoyed doing this. Um, like seriously, it's really fun. I've never like sat down and thought about like, why do I like these songs so much? So doing that and like writing it down and stuff, it was really fun. Let me know if I should do the rest of the Samhain catalog or any more of Glenn Danzig's musical endeavors. Um, and yeah, expect more of these because I really enjoy doing them.